Number 19. Calculate the pH and the pOH of each of the following solutions at 25 degrees Celsius for which the substances ionize completely, and then we have letter A. So in this case, we just have to find the pH and the pOH of 0.000259 molarity of HClO4. Now, they did give us a little hint here. They said that it's going to completely ionize, but you might not get that hint um, on a quiz or a test. So there are only um, three types of compounds that ionize completely. Strong acids, strong bases, and salts. So when you see HClO4, signs should be going off in your mind and you should say, wait a minute, this looks really familiar because HClO4 is one of your strong acids. I would definitely recommend to memorize your six strong acids, all right? And once I say, okay, HClO4, that's a strong acid, I know that this is going to dissolve or break down or ionize 100%, aka completely. So I got to write the balanced equation for that. So in this case, I have HClO4, right? And I kind of know that this is an acid because I see the H in front. So this is going to dissociate or break down 100% into its two ions. But what are the two ions? Well, that's where going all the way back to Chem 1, right? The break between HClO4 is the H plus, that's the acidic hydrogen, and the polyatomic perchlorate, ClO4. So I know that I have H plus plus ClO4 minus. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to say, okay, they told us that we're going to start with 0.000259 molarity. Now we have to figure out how much H plus is going to be here and how much ClO4. This comes from the coefficients and the mole ratios, right? Because this is balanced, it's a one to one to one uh, balanced equation. So all of the numbers are exactly the same. So if I have 0 0.000259 molarity of HClO4, the same number should be for the H+. So in this case, I have 0 0.000259 molarity for the H+. And if I wanted to find the perchlorate, the ClO4, it's also a 1 to 1. So it's going to be the same number as well, 0 0.000259 molarity. And I just want to make sure, okay, there's three zeros after, so we're good. And it's 259. Okay, perfect. Now remember, we want to find out the pH and the pOH. So I'm going to be looking down at now my formulas that we should memorize for this chapter. There's going to be a lot. So here's four of them. Now if you notice, we're in acid territory. There's all reds here. So it wouldn't make sense to look for anything basic. So here is the acid. Oh, and I can find a pH first. pH, the H comes from the hydronium, the H+. Plus. So I can find out the pH because do I know an H plus concentration? Yes, I do. We just found it. And technically, this is the only number that I care about now. I don't care about how much I have here, and I don't even care about the perchlorate ion. All I care about is that I just have an H plus of 0 0.000259 molarity. So pH equals the negative log of the H plus concentration, 0 0.000259. Calc's out. Let's find out what that pH is. So negative log of 0 0.000259. And I get 3.4. No. <laughs> 3.5. Eight, seven. Now, the sig figs for pH are very uh, different from, you know, other sig figs is that the total number of sig figs in your H plus are the number of sig figs after the decimal. 
So since we had a total of two sig figs, we should see, uh, sorry, since we had a total of three sig figs, we should see three after the decimal. And that is our answer for the pH. So half of the problem is done. Now we just have to find the pOH. So I still look at all of the formulas that have pH attached to it. I just found out the pH and I want to find the pOH. Oh, I can use this formula, but I'm going to star it because you can only use this formula if you're at room temp, which is 25 degrees Celsius. And they told us that. So if you're not at room temp and you're at like a crazy, you know, high or low temperature, you can't use this formula. So let's figure it out. pH plus pOH equals 14. So I'm just going to say, okay, here's the H. It's in red. Here's the blue, the OH. And if I just want to solve for pOH, I could just rewrite that formula by saying 14 minus pH. So there we go for that. And all it is now is pOH equals 14 minus the answer that we were, basically we just found, right? 3.587. Okay, Calc's out again. 14 minus 3.587. And I get 10, 10.413. And that is my two answers my pH and my pOH. And we're done with this problem. What do you think, guys? Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. And as always, I hope you're having a great day out there. Let's keep working hard. And I will see you all in later lessons. All right. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.